and today I'm going to be telling you a story. The title of the story is Daniel and the Lions. Once there's a man called Daniel who worked under King Darius's empire. The king trusted him so much that he always gave Daniel uh, important work. Therefore, the other people who worked for the king were jealous of Daniel because he always got a good job. That day, they had a plan and went to the king and said, Your Majesty, we want you to make a law. The law is that no one should worship or respect anyone but except to you. The king was very happy and said that this is a very good idea. Then the man said that whoever disobeys this law will be thrown in the lion's den. The king said that this law is never going to be changed. Daniel always does his evening prayer, midtime prayer, and his day prayer. He was doing his nighttime prayer and he was not alone. The other people of the king were looking at him. The next day, the man went to the king and said, Your Majesty, do you remember the law you made yesterday? The king said, Yes, I do. Then a man came and said that, Your Majesty, Daniel has broken his law. The king said that Daniel is not in this law. He's not included in this law. But the man said that you cannot change the law. The soldiers went to fetch Daniel and said that the king wants you to go in the lion's den. Then the king went to Daniel and said, Daniel, may your God save you and protect you. That night, the king could not sleep. Before the sun rose, he rushed to the lion's den and said, Daniel, are you alive? Did your God save you? Daniel replied, Your Majesty, my Lord has saved me. The king was so happy and helped Daniel come out of the lion's den. The king said to his soldiers to go and fetch the people who tried to kill Daniel. From that day, the king sent the everyone in his empire message that there is no God like Daniel's God and we should always respect Daniel's God. Thank you. The moral of the story is that there is no God like our God and we should always respect our God.